What's up travelers? In this video, we're doing a hotel room tour. We are staying at the Radisson's Blue here in Alexandria, Egypt. It's kind of over by the airport and this, this room looks pretty nice. It was only $85 a night. Yeah, let's go check it out. Lucky me, I got one of those. It's a mirror. <laughs> All right, so what do we got going on here? Man, this is a really nice hotel room. We'll go for a little bit of a more of a wide angle here. Looks like a really nice, comfortable bed, and then it's got a, a cool little couch at the at the foot of it. Nice TV, some interesting looking artwork. Old desk, old coffee maker, and a whole bunch of stuff here. Got the, got the mini bar. Of course we're in Egypt, so there's no alcohol. <laughs> oh wow, they, they hooked me up with a fruit bowl said that was going to cost me $15, but I chose not for that, and they gave it to me anyway, it looks like, so, yeah, this is pretty good. I will show you this in the morning, show you the view out here, but, yeah, we got, we got the freeway, a whole bunch of lights and is awesome stuff. It should be a lake view out there. Nice little table. Now let's go check out this bathroom. We got a nice bathtub, which I am pretty excited for. I never get a chance to use the bathtub these days. Got a shower. Loaded us up on, on that kind of stuff there. More artwork and, and the toilet. Even got a phone. Got a shitter phone, everybody. How awesome is that? <laughs> we got multiple mirrors in the bathroom. That's, that's pretty great, yeah. And uh, a little cubby hole. Let's see what we got up in here. Ooh, we got we got a robe, iron board, another robe. Ooh, -wee. good stuff, man. Safe, an extra pillow, laundry bags. Yeah. Is this open? Yeah, like a some storage down there. Hey, what's up, travelers? I want to let you guys know that I published a coloring book. Uh, it's based off of photographs that I took while I was in Egypt during this series. I put a whole lot of work into it. Check out these photos, that, some of the pages there. Again, I put a lot of work into it. There is a link down in the description to where you can go pick one up. I hope you do. It was a lot of fun making it. it wasn't so much fun publishing it. <laughs> it's really kind of a pain, but I went through it and I got it published. And hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, check it out. Yeah, so this place, it really isn't such a bad deal for $85 a night, I gotta say. 
Well, there's the balcony. Hey, if you have enjoyed this video and you want me to do more hotel room reviews and stuff like that, hit the like button for me so I know you enjoy this kind of video. Also, if you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe to this channel because it really helps me out. Hit that notification bell so you always get a reminder whenever I upload a new video. Now let's go get some food. Now I am sitting at the Egyptian style restaurant here at the Radisson's Blue in Alexandria. I just ordered an Egyptian salad, some Egyptian sausage, and some shrimp soup. Should be interesting. We got our Fatouche salad here. Uh, looks like it has some onions. Looks like Fritos, but I'm guessing probably not. Yeah, it's more of a crispy bread. Some salad, some cucumber, some tomatoes, probably some radish here. Yep, definitely radish. And uh, looks like it. They're using a balsamic vinaigrette here. So let's dig in, check it out. Got some green pepper. Mm -hmm. Just like some yellow bell pepper here. Oh, that's a nice sweet and spicy onion. It's awesome. The vessel they served it in is not really conducive to eating it though. <laughs> Yeah, this is a damn good little salad. Yeah, so it's just cucumbers, yellow and green peppers, tomatoes, radish, onion, probably some iceberg lettuce, maybe. It might be romaine. And then those crispy flatbread pieces and that balsamic vinegar. They sprinkled it with some sort of a some sort of a spice. Probably paprika but it is quite delicious so the sausage is going to be here next it's a stuffed mom bar look at that isn't it absolutely beautiful all right so this is what the inside of it looks like it's stuffed with with rice it's some sort of a meat sausage with rice stuffed inside of a sheep casing Oh. oh yeah, that is full of cinnamon and anise and probably some coriander. Oh, that is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Kind of dry though. I had to wash that down a lot. All right, so. Now we got the shrimp soup. And looks like it's got a handful of shrimp in it. Some veggies. An unpeeled shrimp. And let's just go ahead and try this broth. Mm. Oh wow. See now that's the kind of flavor profile that you really don't get anywhere else in the world except for here in the Middle East. So at first you get that, that, that flavor that you get, like a seafood broth, but then the, the spices that they use that just explode and go all over your, your tongue and just completely has a party in your, in your mouth. The flavor profile is just Mm. It's an explosion of happiness. You've got all these these Middle Eastern spices, and they're all just kind of 
melded together to just have this beautiful party. It's <laughs> something else. All right, let's get some of the shrimp here with some other stuff. starting to get a nice little kick to it too like there's definitely some chilies in here somewhere mm. oh that is that is so good get one of these Egyptian flatbreads here This is a great Christmas Eve dinner. <laughs> mm. Every bite of this has something new to add and that is just what really makes this kind of special. See like with that, I just got some uh, okra and like when I was digging around, I didn't see any okra in it the first time. This has some squash, some, something red. <laughs> it looks like some barley in there. Oh yeah. Mm. That is just so delicious. So I am here at this hotel for one more night after tonight. So I'm spending Christmas here. I have to check out early in the day here on the day after Christmas and I haven't actually been into Alexandria yet this is actually a resort about an hour drive outside of Alexandria and it was an adventure getting here I'll tell you what I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to drive me around and go see a few things in Alexandria after I check out and then bring me back into this area because the airport's right down the road. Then I am flying over to Sharm El Sheikh. Like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, eat great food.